this perfume is highly seductive. I won't even lie to you guys. Like there is something very, very. It's it's like poison. It's like the perfume that some like Maleficent would put on to enchant you. This is highly enchanting. It's like a love potion put in one bottle. Like it's it's too much, and it has the perfect amount of alcohol in it. It's not one of those perfumes that has um, a very, very overpowering amount of alcohol scent in it. Like it has a perfect amount mixed with the floral notes that also comes. Welcome back to the channel and if you are new here, hi, I am Damsi and you're most welcome to this crystal amazing community where we talk all things lifestyle, beauty, mindset, you know, and a little bit of DIYs every now and then. Um, you're most welcome once again if you know that you are into lifestyle, topics, beauty topics, of course, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And so, in today's video, I am specifically happy because I am going to be talking about one of my recent obsessions or, um, you know, one of the few things that I love the most in the world, and which, which is perfumes. And uh, yeah, so I've recently started taking a deeper connection and deeper liking to perfumes and smelling good. In my own opinion, I just feel like it is a... It is kind of like an art of good manners, you know, because you're not only smelling good for the people who are going to be lucky enough to sniff you or those who are going to be lucky enough to be around you at any hour or any point of the day. You're also going to smell good for yourself. And I feel like smelling good does a good work of confidence to everyone that, you know, puts on a kind of perfume that makes them feel confident and beautiful and all of that put together. So without much further ado, because today's video is just, it's, it's a different kind of review actually. Like I can't wait to dive into it with you guys and review some of my most affordable, um, for, not my most affordable, I'm going to be reviewing my affordable perfume collection for you guys and I hope that this is something that you will enjoy. And yeah, so before we dive into the video, I just wanted to put it out there that um, this perfume is actually under 10k. So I'm going to do my best to remember the prices or probably track down the prices I got them from the page that I got them from. And I'm also going to tag the page just in case any of you want to check them out and buy. And yeah, and so my reviews on this perfumes are my personal you know my own personal opinion of them because i've been using them for a while some have been using for over a year so yeah it's going to be really really great so the very first perfume that i am going to be reviewing is this one here this is the um this is a baccarat rouge 540 extract or extract i i don't really know how to pronounce it but yeah this is how it looks like it comes uh, this is actually the 25 ml this is a small bottle it has a bigger one i think the 100 ml bottle so i just got this because this was one of the very first perfumes that i got so i i didn't want to spend a lot on a bigger a bigger bottle this is actually quite cheap and this this also smells really good for the price it smells really really good so this perfume is kind of on the um it's kind of on the floral scents type category and it gives me the vibe of okay so permit me in this video i am not going to be spraying up all the perfumes because my nose does get sensitive towards smell so i'm not going to spray everything out but because these perfumes are quite strong and i do store them properly so the scent kind of lingers in the cover okay so i'm just going to be sniffing them from the cover just to kind of really give you guys like a first impression like first impression reaction to the perfume again so as i'm taking this one out it it has a sweet smell it has feminine smell like it has that feminine vibe to it young and cute yeah that that kind of vibe so this this perfume is this perfume just smells 
floral, it smells feminine, it gives me that um, floral, feminine, sweet and cute vibe and this is really really wonderful. This is so one thing with this perfume is that it, it doesn't it doesn't have like the longest like it doesn't last the longest in terms of longevity right because it is it is an extract obviously so it, it does not really last super long but if you ask me this is something that I would um this is something that I would wear maybe for a cool night out like a night date a date night a cool date night not one of those hot miserable weather kind of day but like a cool one you know the weather is just fine and the evening is peaceful and all of that this is something that I would wear I feel like <clears throat> it's quiet enough but it also does project a little bit of that femininity and cuteness altogether but it's not too loud and too choking if that makes any sense so yeah this is definitely a very very nice one very very good so longevity is right from like two to three hours roughly i would say like two to two and a half hours for the longevity after two and a half hours you would have to like come close to the cloth or to the skin to actually be able to still per perceive the perfume so it's not it's not like the scent disappears completely but after two um to two and a half hours it just kind of quiets down so yeah, I'll say that it's kind of last for about two to two and a half hours altogether, which is not so bad if you ask me. I mean, who wants to be smelling super loud at night? I feel like this, something like this is more suitable for the cold weather. It's not really all that suitable for the summer. I feel whenever I put this on in the afternoon, it just quickly disappears, like the scent just quickly quiets down. So it's, it is not the best for the summer or afternoon. Or the hot period okay as to how good this perfume is i would give it a six over ten i feel like it's really good the scent is really nice it's feminine it's pure it's sweet so cute and young and all of that but i wish it lasts longer so i'm going to give this a six over ten so the second perfume i have with me is the smart collection number 475 <laughs> So the history behind me getting this perfume is because, yeah, before I got this, I've had a lot of awesome reviews about the actual original um, perfume, which is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. So I, I instantly fell in love with the bottle and even the reviews that I saw on the original. Well, this is a smart collection one. I just, it's, it's a copy of the original bottle right so i just saw this to be honest i got this because of the the design of the bottle so well yeah i'm, I'm just going to go straight into the review so this perfume this perfume um let's see what it smells like hmm. so this one actually it's it's kind of between the floral and wood scents category. Um, it kind of smells like a powerful female boss kind of smell, and it also it also kind of reminds me of a very familiar smell I used to perceive in my childhood. Whenever I go to my dad's office, it smells like a chilled office. It just gives me office something official kind of vibe. So it's it's really really cool and um, this is something that I would think I would wear to let's say work or a work event or I would definitely wear to church because it's it's it is feminine and it is powerful at the same time slightly intimidating like you you don't want to mess with someone that smells like this so yeah and the bottle is really cute as well I just love this bottle even though I'm not I'm not really a huge person but. I love this this is this is nice so as for the longevity of this perfume it lasts for about three to four hours like it's whenever you spray it on it is usually super loud um, I'm using the word loud but I hope you get what I mean when I use the word loud I just mean you know it is obvious like you can smell it from some um, distance a certain distance away from the person that has sprayed it so it is usually loud for about three to four, yeah, three to four hours, and after then it kind of quiets down. So yeah, the longevity is not really all that good. 
So this is also a mini size actually. I forgot to say this is also a 25 ml, but it's quite it's quite long and I mean let me give let me give you guys a very good feel of this bottle. So this is how it looks like. Super stunning. So yeah, that lasts for um three to four hours, and I will give this a rating of let's say 6.5 over 10. 6.5 because it is a really good perfume and at least it lasts longer than the first Baccarat Rouge. So yeah, that's also a very good one. So the third perfume that I have with me guys is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum. Um, this is how it looks like in this, in this clear bottle gold. It's just similar to the other one. This is actually just a different fragrance but it's still within the same line. And I forgot to mention when I was reviewing the first one that um, this Baccarat Rouge is actually a copy of the original Baccarat Rouge itself. So I don't know how the original smells like once again because I've never used it but this one and this is also a mini size, right? Guys, this perfume. This perfume. Mm. I wish you guys can perceive this. So the first thing, the first note that instantly kind of screams out when you sniff this is a pineapple. A pineapple with a little bit, just a little bit, like a drop of alcohol in it. So it is just so sweet. And this is this is a perfume within the let me say the fruity category, the fruity scent category. So this is definitely fruity and so it's it is a eau de parfum, which means it naturally it tends to last longer than the extract. So yeah, and this this is really 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 good. It smells it's it smells sweet. It it, it smells playful. It smells young, kind of like young love. <sighs> so sweet, like sweet, playful, young love, um, feminine really cute and all of that is just it's a really 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 beautiful perfume guys so this perfume is something that i would probably wear to a day out with a friend or with friends or to the beach if i ever go to the beach and then um probably like a casual date like a date that is not it's not so serious it's just a casual hang out or meet and greet or meet and eat kind of date so this this is just really cool <clears throat> because it, it it doesn't really do too much it's a very personal very friendly perfume and this is actually surprisingly one of my favorite scents in my collection this one right here you should definitely get this scent it's it's everything it's everything once and more i feel like it's it kind of um it kind of embodies my personality you know I'm really a big fan of pineapple. I love, I love the scent. I love the taste. I love everything about it. So this perfume right here is kind of me, an aspect of me, <laughs> enveloped in this small bottle. So yeah, this this definitely has my heart. So, and as for the longevity of this perfume, it lasts for about um, let me see, three to four hours. It lasts for about three to four hours. Not last, I mean it's it's loud for about three to four hours, so before the scent kind of quiets down and all of that. So I would def I would rate this, I would rate this let's say a an eight over ten. Eight over ten because <clears throat> the perfume is perfection to me. It's great. It's not one of those perfumes that are so strong. That's why I say it has like just a small drop of alcohol in it because it is it is not strong this is something you can literally spray in your nose and sniff not that i would try it though but it's just too sweet right it's too sweet it is not strong and it lasts long i just wish it it lasts a bit longer you understand perhaps the bigger bottle does or the original i don't know but this this is this is a very very rich this is a very good this is a good scent guys this this is definitely a good scent so get you some Baccarat Rouge 540 with the perfume yeah so onto the fourth perfume we have the um we have the love and nature coconut vanilla or orchid oh it is actually not a perfume this is a body mist with essential oils so yeah this is about 237 ml and 
So this is a coconut vanilla orchid. Um, yeah, this is the fourth one that we have. And this is obviously on the fruity scent category, fruity scent type category perfume. So this, this, this is also a very sweet, it's, it's a really, really nice perfume. Really, really good um, body mist. And surprisingly, it does. It actually lasts long for a body mist, and perhaps it's the alcohol in it. But it it lasts it lasts significantly long. So this one gives me carefree, adventurous, sensitive, sweet, carefree, adventurous, sensitive, and a sweet kind of vibe. Like, yeah, it, it gives me that kind of young, you know, a day in the beach, in the ocean, or with nature kind of vibe, that kind of thing is. You know, vanilla and coconut scent. Vanilla is actually one of my favorite scents, as well as coconut, and the two of them mixed together is just like a bond to me, okay? So I, I really, really, really do love this perfume. And I, this is something that I would wear to maybe like uh, a day in the beach out to the beach or like a date night or to the classroom because it's it's simple it's nothing too overpowering or too loud and proud and any of that so it's, it's kind of like a simple fresh adventurous pure spirit free spirit carefree spirit kind of perfume it is lovely very very nice and yeah this one i didn't actually buy this i i got this from someone yeah and so this one is very very special to me i don't know where i'm going to send you guys to go get this from but you can just take a good look at the bottle take a good look at what it looks like maybe if you find something like this yeah and i also like that it comes with this wooden cork like this is literally this is literally wood and see how thick it is and it has the plastic cover lining inside and this loves the scent so so well so it's it's a really good it's a really good one a good body mist yeah so this body mist lasts for about three to four hours which is actually really really good for a body mist i tell you you know body mists are not they're not actual perfumes they're, they're not meant to last as long as perfumes so but this one actually lasts pretty long it lasts for like three like three to three and a half hours yeah but after that it still lingers on your clothes yeah it still lingers for like an extra four five hours on your fabric right your clothing fabric so it's also a very 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 good one yeah definitely a very good one and i'll give it an eight over ten rating simply because it's really good it's impressive it smells nice and it's the longevity is also very very impressive so yeah, definitely 8 over 10 for me. So you guys need to prepare yourself for the queen of the night, okay? This fifth perfume that I'm going to be introducing to you guys is inspired by the very famous Jean-Paul Gaultier's Candle by Night. I present to you guys Scandance by Night. This, this perfume right here, this one right here is an absolute queen, okay? Like this just... Take a moment to look at the bottle, just see, see the glory that it holds, see the power that it holds. I am telling you guys, it is as powerful as it looks like, okay? So this is the fifth one that I'll be reviewing and this one is obviously on the floral scent type category. So it is a floral perfume and hmm, this, this perfume gives me the vibe of expensive, feminine like not just feminine it, it's it gives the vibe of highly feminine like a toxic intoxicating femininity like that kind of powerful feminine figure and it gives me feminine confidence and it, it gives the sexy vibe and also expensive and seductive this perfume is highly seductive I won't even lie to you guys, like, there is just something very, very 
it's it's like poison it's like the perfume that some like maleficent would put on to enchant you this is highly enchanting it's like a love potion put in one bottle like it's it's too much and it has the perfect amount of alcohol in it it's not one of those perfumes that has um a very very overpowering amount of alcohol scent in it like it has a perfect amount mixed with the floral notes that also comes I, I just feel like it's for that powerful feminine figure and this is something that is suitable for the, for date nights when you want to feel you know sexy and you, you want to feel on top of your game confident powerful feminine and all of that put together this is a perfect go-to for you so this is definitely a date night perfume i recently just got this this is why it looks as though i've not really used much of it that because it's one of the recent ones that i just got i got this for my last birthday so yeah this is definitely one of my favorites actually and this is also something that i would wear to work let's say yeah if on, on days that you just feel your most confident self and all of that this is definitely still suitable for work it's very feminine it speaks so well i don't know so as for the longevity of this perfume this perfume actually lasts it, it is usually it's actually loud in the first four and a half to five hours so i would say that the longevity is quite good but it lingers it is one of those perfumes that actually lingers in your clothes for over 24 hours actually yes it does like i sprayed on some clothes that i just wear briefly during the day and then i come back to put it on the following day you know as long as you didn't put it out in the sun or something you just like once i just wear it for let's say barely an hour and i take it off put it fold it back into my wardrobe and then wear it the following day it's still very very potent so this this is a perfume that lingers it's, it's not super strong like overpowering but it lasts really really long so i would rate this perfume mm, a 9 over 10 because it deserves it it's everything everything put together like this is what a grown woman should be wearing when you're like in your adult <laughs> yeah this is what a grown woman should be wearing so it's kind of like a grown version of this for me it's like a grown version this is this is really nice this is also you know subtle sweet feminine romantic and all of that but this is like a grown version of this although they don't actually smell they don't smell similar but this is also of the floral note this is also of a floral note so yeah this is what i'll probably wear at night when it's not super serious but when it's with you know some kind of dates that you know that okay this this one is is an expensive outing right this is what you want to put on not this okay you could pair the two i think it would be a very lovely pair but i've never tried it i'll probably i'll probably try it one day but probably not going to be anytime soon so yeah it's a really great perfume the sixth perfume that i'll be reviewing is this one right here this is ophelia um this is ophelia by fragrance world right yeah this is from fragrance world so this perfume is is more on the floral and oud scent type category it's quite strong and surprisingly it's it well not surprisingly though this is actually the longest lasting perfume that I have in my collection, this particular one right here, this Ophelia. So this perfume gives me the vibe of um, like a powerful, no not powerful per se, but like a strong feminine scent, a strong feminine scent, which can also, it could also be good for, um, for male as well, because it smells more unisex than feminine. Yeah, it smells more unisex and feminine. So this is also something that a guy could use. Um, it's not just for female, even though it's floral oil, there are some guys that are kind of like a feminine, masculine kind of person. So I think they can go for this. And this actually lasts very, 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 very long. So it gives me the vibe of a, a unisex, like a strong female figure, if you know what that means. You know what I mean? And um, it also gives... A powerful it also gives a powerful vibe yeah like a strong powerful vibe and a tough vibe edgy and all of that because it's, it's quite it's quite rough and then sweet like it's like a 
it's like a blend, like a combination of rough and sweet put together, like a combination of masculine and feminine put together. So it's it's really good and definitely suitable for both male and female. And this is something that I will probably wear to work or a work event or you know one of those really long um public events kind of thing because i feel like it lasts really really long longevity is good you don't even have to top with this one this one lasts it's got you covered 247 yeah so and it lingers for days so i i'm not really sure but it's usually loud for about the first the first five hours this this perfume will be super loud like all over the place right and after that it kind of simmers down but not completely it will still linger for even over 24 hours that i can guarantee you i've not really used it much and to be honest it's because it's probably one of my it's actually like would i say it's my least favorite in my collection actually because it's it's it just feels overpowering sometimes so it has this strong scent that great that greets you when you first sniff it very strong scent then when it's when it um, relaxes like when it washes down or quiets down it's it gives more of the feminine scent right so the first scent when you first spray it is very overpowering and then it just quiets down to this feminine scent which is which makes sense i mean it's good but i i just can't really make up my mind about it but at the moment it's one of my least favorites so yeah but this is what it looks like. I really like the bottle. It's super heavy, just like this candant one. These two bottles are really, really heavy. Like, I have to be careful carrying this too. I would rate it, let's say, I'll give it like a 7 over 10 because it lasts super long. It's everything that a perfume should be. It definitely does smell expensive, not cheap. But it's just, I, I feel like it's just not really my scent, you know, maybe if the masculine part of it was a bit less, could have been my thing, but it's, it's not, I'm often not really in the very overpowering mood. If it was me like five years ago, this is probably something that would really, really suit my personality, but mm, I'm, I'm becoming quite calm these days, so <laughs> yeah, this perfume is, is good, but it's just... My least favorite in the collection so i'll give this a 7 over 10 only because it's not one of my favorites so yeah so the last but definitely not the least perfume that i have in my collection is also inspired by the famous carolina herrera good girl perfume which is all the same bottle as the first one that i was it the first one no the second one that i reviewed so which is this so let us take a moment to appreciate this divine, this gorgeousness. Look at the color. Just look at the flow. Just look at it. This perfume, you guys. So this is the hundred. This is the hundred ml um, one. This one is the short one. You can see this is twenty five ml. So this is half of it. This is the hundred ml. Guys, this perfume. <laughs> This perfume is, this, this, this is a perfect, when I mean perfect, I mean like 50% to 50% kind of perfection. This is a perfect mix of fruity and floral scent type. This is in the fruity category, the floral category. So this, this is where the spray comes out from. It's not like the small one. The small one, you would have to open this up, but this one is not open. So this is, uh, what do they call it, the, so this is where it comes out of, right? I just can't resist, I just, I really can't. This perfume, this one, mm, the scent, the scent, the scent, the scent. The first scent that greets you when you spray this on is like a citrus, like a chilled citrus drink, like a chilled orange drink, just greets you when you first spray it. It lingers, it lingers, it lingers, and then, it kind of quiets down later on to a subtle floral scent. This perfume, it smells divine. It smells, I think the word for it is enchanting. It kind of pulls you in, it kind of draws you. The first time that I perceived this, I was just in love. It's like a bottle of 
fruit juice, no, not fruit juice, but say like citrus mixed with petals of roses everywhere. Yeah, like citrus and rose mixed together. It's, it smells, it smells enchanting. It's, it's literally a love potion. This one right here. A love potion. That is what, that is what I can call it, honestly speaking. So this smells sweet. It gives me the cute, seductive, like highly, highly, highly seductive scent and feminine for sure. So it's, yeah, so the difference between this and this, these two perfumes are feminine and sweet, right? But this is more like a powerful feminine. This is, this is like something that Maleficent would put on, right? This is more of a, what Cinderella would put on, you know, just cute. Like that cute feminine, like a soft feminine woman. So this this other one, the um, this candance is more of a powerful feminine kind of thing. So this is what a calm feminine lady would put on. A like down to earth, introverted, young. This is definitely a young scent. It's just so sweet. Like this, this is enchanting, enchanting. That is that is just all that I have for this perfume. I'll definitely wear this out on a date. I say a date and it's only just dates I can think of because what other event would be so because if, if you wear this I feel like this is the kind of person if you wear it to the wrong event let's say you wear it to a work event now your <laughs> your colleagues will just be distracted okay like you, you, you don't want to wear this to the wrong event so I feel like the right event for it you're going on a date or you're going to see a partner or whatever it is so this this is a perfect go-to, excellent scent. Mm, it's, it's just too good. It's just really, really too good. So as for the longevity of the perfume, um, this lasts for about four to five hours. It's loud for about four to five hours. Then it's quiets down to the sweet floral scent and it lingers for quite long. Let's say like roughly seven hours before you know it's it's not all that noticeable anymore. But it lasts quite long in my own opinion. So. But it doesn't last as long as this can dance, of course, but it lasts long enough. So this is good. I would rate this a 9 over 10 because I can. <laughs> and because also because it is actually my favorite scent in the collection. So it is my favorite scent. So yeah, this, this is a lovely one. You need to get you some of these. So thank you guys for watching my video up until this point so um make sure you comment down below which one of the reviews was your favorite review or if you've been using any of this perfume or you're planning to get any of them just let us know and yeah i wish you all the best of luck in getting the right one for you uh, the whole purpose of shooting this video is that you, you don't have to do that blind buy okay it's it's okay to watch reviews and get the first impression of the perfume that you wish to buy from another person that has already used them of course so do not forget to like comment subscribe if you enjoy this video just let me know by giving me some thumbs up encouraging me of course and yeah that's it so i will see you guys in my next video bye